surprise and it was, it was certainly gratifying. I took it as sort of a recognition of our group. And we had a, a very stable and supportive group here. We decided that we'd like to have a, a community celebration. Our pap put on a big banquet and dance and it was really, really fun. So, so the guys that got this award would get, you know, videoed. <laughs> A lot of funny stuff went on with that, of course, which they couldn't use, but... They're playing these tricks on me. So when I came in, my mouse was stuck to the board by the, it was a piece of <laughs> tape. Partners trying to bugger me up one way or another. <laughs> Take a nice picture of me examining a child, only to find that the otoscope head on it was stuffed full of cotton bands, so... Rural Locum program was key to, uh, to my survival here, I think, because the thing about rural practice, I think, eventually wears on physicians and, and uh, has them either move somewhere else into town, into the city or something, is the uh, on-call. On-call can become quite onerous for old guys, older guys. So the uh, Locum program was a real godsend because uh, we could divest ourselves of some of the on-call, especially on weekends. It just felt good to have a, to feel that there was a group that understand, understood rural medicine and was actually seeking ways to support rural medicine. I think that that was a really nice thing that came along, this idea of the Rural Physician Action Plan. Now it includes, I guess, more healthcare workers, which is great too, because that's an equal challenge, is getting your x-ray techs and your nurses and your all these people that support a, a good rural health facility. Grateful to the group for 30 years of trying to help out here, and I wish them success for 30 more years. Mm -hmm.